So, uh, so interstellar travel was really sort of the dream of many generations for many thousands of years. And uh, the assumption always was that we're not ready to do this. And technology is not there. And, they were, and, and actually, they were right. The technology was not there. But uh, what we have discovered uh, to our own, uh, to my own amazement, is that actually in the last 15 years, we've made enough progress uh, to send an unmanned probe uh, to the nearby star. And just to give you the, uh, uh, the sense of the numbers that, uh, 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 or the scale of what needs to happen, is that there is absolutely no way that in any foreseeable future we will be able to send humans, because it's just not enough energy on our planet to be able to do this. And uh, we need to travel at a speed of about 20% of speed of light, which is a thousand times faster than we can travel right now, uh, to get to the nearby star in 20 years. I think 20 years is a good benchmark. So within a lifetime of a generation, if one can get there, get there in terms of send something there, and get a few images back of a possible planet, I think this will be pretty cool. So, but a thousand times faster than we can travel now seems like a, a big stretch. But in the last hundred years, we already increased the speeds that we can send objects at by a factor of thousand. So we need to do pretty much the same thing that we did in the last hundred years, but maybe in the next 20 years. And the only way to do it, the only conceivable way, is uh, to use a very small spaceship, completely contrary to what we think about interstellar travel. And I can actually show you how this it is, will look like. This is the ultimate show and tell coming. Yeah, so this is the size of the spaceship that uh, you should be talking about. Because if it is significantly more than one gram, then again, you, uh, you just don't have enough energy uh, to accelerate it. But this is a fully functional spaceship with four cameras hmm. and the communication laser and it's kind of less than a quarter of an inch. You can see it here. Wow. Um, and the only way you can uh, accelerate it to that speed is to use a very big uh, ground-based laser to, uh, um, to, um, to shoot from the ground and attach this to a, a, a sail, which will uh, accelerate it to those kind of speeds in a matter of a few minutes. How many probes will you send? Or, I'm sorry, you well, the, the beauty of the system is that you can send um, a few thousand of them because you can mass produce them yep. uh, as opposed to the way we're exploring space right now that you build something for a long time and then it's a few billion dollars worth and then you launch one of them. So in fact, you can send uh, many of them and uh, a few of them will survive a pretty hostile interstellar uh, medium between us and Alpha Centauri.